Hello my lovelies, welcome back to my channel. It's Tuesday which means it is food shop and meal plan day. If you're new here my name's Kaylee, and today I'm going to be food shopping and meal planning for a family of four. There's myself, my husband Alistair, my son Harry who is six and my daughter Megan who is four. And today I'm going to be doing a shop in the cupboards meal plan. So I'm hoping to get as many ingredients as I can for meals from what we already have in the cupboards and then um, I'll go and do a little top up shop after that. I'm hoping to keep that as cheap as possible. Um, there are times when I've been able to do it on £20 before but I do also need um, like washing tabs and toilet paper so I don't know if we're going to be able to do that today but we're going to try our best. Um, so I'm going to show you around my cupboards, I'm going to show you how I do it and basically all I do is I go through my cupboards, my freezer and I make a list of what I've got and then I meal plan around that. It, it's pretty simple really but I'll show you what we've got. Our cupboards are so full at the moment and um, yeah they definitely need a good clear out and we need to see what we have because I can't even remember half of what's in them at the moment. So let's have a look. Okay, the lighting in my kitchen at this time of day is just awful, but um, it's what we're working with and I need to get this done. So, this is my cupboard with like cans and packets and things like that. So I'm just gonna start pulling things out and seeing what we've got. So I've just emptied the bottom shelf and this is a great opportunity to give your cupboards a clean as well. I like to do this at least once a month um, just to use up what we have. But look at all that food that was in that cupboard. <laughs> We have got some breadcrumbs, lasagna sauce, three tins of chopped tomatoes, three tins of sliced carrots, a tin of chickpeas, a tomato soup, a chicken soup, two tins of baked beans, three tubs of passata. There's two bottles of sweet chilli sauce here and I'm sure there's a half opened one in the fridge as well so yeah we need to get that used. I've got this French style dressing and then I've got lamb gravy granules beef gravy granules, beef stock cubes and fish stock cubes. I've got this stirring pasta sauce, two tins of tuna and some baby beetroot. So there's loads there that's already got me started thinking about meals. Um, I'll see what meat I've got in the fridge but I'm sure I could make a lasagna, we could make a tuna pasta bake. Um, yeah we're off to a good start I think. I also find this really helps because when I put things back in I tend to put them back a bit tidier and then I can see what I've got easier than um, how it was before. So let's have a go at this shelf and see what we've got. Okay so the next shelf I've got three boxes of lasagna sheets so we need to get those used. I've got a white sauce, I've got things to make a red sauce so if I've got meat in the freezer that would be a perfect meal for this week. I've also got cannoli cannelloni tubes. I've got some instant noodles, um, some pasta, probably just enough for the kids. And then there's also some other pasta. Um, there's not lots, but that would probably do for Megan's pet lunch one day. So there we go. Rice noodles, maybe we could do some sort of soup. I've got yellow split peas and I've got red lentils, more red lentils. I've got this meat-free chicken curry and rice pot. That would be good for me to take to work. I've got some basmati rice, um, two little packets of brown rice, and then some more noodles, and um, I don't trust those, so they're gonna go in the bin. And this is what lives on the top shelf. So as you can see, we've got like the snack tub of all the unhealthy things that live up high so the kids can't get them. And there's quite a lot in there at the moment, so I don't think we need any more like snacky treats. Um, they tend to go for fruit when they're hungry first, so these last us a while. And then in here, it's just like packet stuff. So I've got lemon and coriander couscous, I've got two of those. I've got a black bean stir fry sauce. Oh, we could use that with the noodles. I've got these like little poppadom things. Alistair must have got those. Pimp my salad cashew palm cheese. Ooh, I might use that to make some sort of lunch for me at work. Um, what are you? Oh, chicken noodle soup, sachets, um, chili miso, there's two of those, a Maggie's sweet and sticky barbecue, um, sweet chili and garlic stir fry sauce and two casserole, sausage casserole seasoning mixes. And then there's yeast, that must be out of a mindful chef thing that we didn't use all of it. And um, 
pumpkin seeds so they could go in a salad as well um that's a really good start i'm very happy with how this cupboard did really happy with how much was in this cupboard i think we've got off to a really good start let's check the freezer next okay so this is my first freezer drawer and i've got some mac and cheese bites left um that's not a full packet i've got a mindful chef fish pie and sweet potato mash and then another chipotle chicken with sweet corn and brown rice i tend to have these for um lunches or dinners for work um or if we all end up eating separately for whatever reason i'll have one of those so yeah they're really handy to have in this is just like um an ice pop made out of cordial and water that harry put in there what's in here what are you oh the beeping's gonna drive me mad so this is pulled pork and um, that's enough for a meal for all of us so that's great i've got some of these desserts from mindful chef as well they are so tasty um data nut tart had that the other night so so good there's one left and then these um raspberry and beetroot brownies so good as well we've got some yellow fin tuna steaks i don't know how long they've been in there i think it's a while I've got a Mindful Chef soup, that's green minestrone. What are you? Oh, two um, fish. What do you call them? Like, I don't think they're cod. They might be haddock, but basically we could do fish and chips for the kids. <laughs> and some frozen fruit. Okay, the next drawer is really, really full. And I can see we've got beef mince. So there we go, lasagna, sorted. We have beef mince, lasagna is gonna be on the menu. I've also got frozen sweet corn, frozen peas. What are you? What is this? Meatballs. So there's another meal. Although everything feels a bit pasta heavy that's coming to mind at the minute. So I need to look at that. What's down here? Oh, basophil. Do you know what? I tried to buy some of these the other day and they didn't have any and I didn't realise I already had them in my freezer. This is why you need to shop in your freezer sometimes because I tried to buy some more of these last week. Um, right, Bass is on the menu. Love that. We've got some potato waffles and sausages. So we could do a sausage casserole. There's not loads. There's not a full packet. There's six sausages. Um, I'll have a think on that. Maybe we pad it out with some beans and chop them up small. Sausage rolls. I don't even remember them being put in there. Tempura chicken, battered things we may end up having a few picky plates this week i've got some crinkle cut chips excuse the state of my freezer i'm keeping it real i've got ah, a bag of frozen mashed potato i also have this frozen mashed potato um i had some potatoes that were going to go off so i cooked them and mashed them yesterday and tubbed them up so that they would be here oh my goodness that beeping <laughs> um yeah just so that the potatoes didn't go to waste We've got some more homemade chips. We've got a big dish of chicken stock. So I'm thinking we do homemade soup um, with crusty bread. I think that'd be really nice one day. And then, oh, oh, burger. These are burgers, but there's only two. And then I'm just gonna do the top shelf as quickly as I can. We have got tomato lentil and basil soup. This is my absolute favorite tomato soup. I love it. I'll have that for lunches. Um, mashed potato, said that already. I've got, what are you? Oh, let me guess. Ah, oh, Alistair drives me crazy. He puts things in the freezer, but he doesn't wrap them properly, so that's useless. Um, fish fingers, I think there's eight left in there. They had some last night. Then there's <laughs> more fish fingers, so fish fingers will definitely be on the menu. Um, more meatballs. Cool, more meatballs and some more frozen fruit okay time to look in the fridge and this is mostly just like pickles or condimenty type things up here but there's some nice things that would make some salads for lunches i've got some leftover beans um i've stopped putting the tin in the fridge because a few of you told me that you're not supposed to do that so i now tub them up and put them in properly thank you um for sharing that with me i didn't realize you weren't supposed to put tins in the fridge I then have a tub of Greek style yogurt, two 
muller corners and some fromage free yogurts at the back. I do have two Mindful Chef meals. Um, we received these on Sunday and I wasn't expecting them, but it was very kind of them. They were gifted. Um, I will show you the recipes that these are later. One's a salmon recipe, one is a tofu recipe. So I have got the meat for those here. I've got some pasta and pesto. I don't know how old that is, I don't trust it, so we'll get rid of that. Um, yeah, we've got the tofu, the salmon. I've got a garlic baguette. Ah, oh, lasagna is starting to sound really, really good to me right now. <laughs> And then I also have a full unopened block of cheese. That's good. There's a little bit of ham left, some chorizo, some butter. My fruit and veg drawer is looking quite sad right now. So that definitely needs topping up. We go through a lot of fruit and veg. Um, I've got some eggs. Alistair bought some more the other day. Ooh. Right, something, something spilt there. That needs cleaning, I'll sort that. I've got some applesauce and then just you know the messy condiment right i'm definitely sorting these that's disgusting oh i'm embarrassed um never mind and you know like milk sauce stuff like that so not a whole heap in there but these two meals will definitely be on my meal plan this week but i will also share what i would make if we weren't lucky enough to have these in our fridge right now um just so you can see how i would do this if i was planning for seven days and not five because we already have these two meals if that makes sense and then this is almost the last of the food. This is my like bread and crackers and things like that drawer. A couple of packets of crisps, um, some random bits of cereal that didn't get used up so we could make like random mixed up cereal. I've got some porridge oats, um, not very much bread so we'll need some more of that. I've got crackers, some other cereal. <laughs> there is a bag of popcorn and some random things this drawer needs to clean as well that's not been opened yet so that's brilliant yeah not an awful lot in there um but we'll give it a tidy and i'll write down what we've got anyway and then this is the last of my food stuff so there's some spaghetti the pasta jar is empty we've got flour we've got rice and then cereal wise porridge oats we've got some of those cinnamon cereal left as well and a pitiful amount of hoops so we definitely need something breakfasty oh there's also instant porridge up there as well can you tell we like porridge okay so i've just been through the cupboards and the freezer and the fridge and everything else and there was quite a lot in there so i'm going to tell you my meal plan now and then what's on my shopping list then i'm going to go to the shops i will come back and show you what i got and tell you how much i spent um i know we have a lot of stuff in the fridge and the freezer but i bet if you look in yours you've got quite a bit too we are really careful with saving leftovers and things and some of the portions that we have of certain things are like either one that would do the kids or one that would do for us but sometimes during the week we do eat separately because of work and things like that so um, it works out for us and it makes me feel a lot better than I would if I was wasting food so um, okay here's the meal plan I've got lasagna and garlic bread um, yeah, I love lasagna, so I was really pleased to find we have all of the ingredients for that, so that's fantastic. I'm going to do like a veg tomato soup one night. Um, so you can make a really nice tomato soup. I think the recipe's on my blog, I'll link it below. It tastes just like Heinz, but it's healthier. Um, using like tinned carrots, baked beans, chopped tomatoes, all things that we've already got in. I think you put pickles in it as well and it gives it a bit of a tang. Really, really tasty. So I thought that would be lovely with some bread. The kids have hot meals at school and preschool. So um, it doesn't really matter if we have something that's like not what you would um, consider like a substantial meal. And actually, you know, if you think about how many veggies and things we can get into a soup and put beans in there and things as well, that's actually like a really filling comfort food type meal. I've put, well, I did put fish casserole. <laughs> And then I remembered that um, Alistair's just not that keen. So, whilst I have options, I've gone for pulled pork, mash and peas. Um, we could also use some of those tinned carrots as well, because we've got three tins of them and they need using up. I've put sausage casserole, and I think I am just going to buy another packet of sausages. Um, we've got plenty of mash in the cupboard, so again, we can have mash with that. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to buy some more sausages. They're not that expensive, so we'll add those on. I've got pasta and meatballs, so I'm really looking forward to that. Harry made the meatballs at the weekend, and apparently they are the tastiest meatballs ever. Me and Megan were out at her ballet show, so we never got to try them. And um, 
yeah i think he just liked the fact that he was the chef but i do need to add pasta let me just write that down before i forget um i just added pasta to my shopping list because um we just don't have enough then i've got two mindful chef meals so um i've got my little booklet here and the first meal i don't know if you can see is salmon with garlic tomato and basil sauce and it looks like this, that looks so tasty. And then the next one is crispy tofu nuggets and smoky beans. We've had this recipe before, focus, there you go. And it's really tasty. It's got like sweet potato chips, the smoky beans and the tofu. And the kids loved this recipe. Last time we had this Mindful Chef um, recipe, they absolutely loved it. So I'm really, really chuffed that we've got that. Megan loves tofu. She's the pickiest eater ever, but she really likes tofu. So I'm really pleased. Now, I did say I would include two meals that if we didn't have the Mindful Chef, this is what we would do. And I basically just put omelette and beans on toast. Because on weeks like this, when we can't afford to be picky, um, we do have things like omelette or beans on toast. Um, sometimes we'll add like a bit of chorizo into the beans, try and jazz them up a bit. Sometimes we'll use tortilla wraps instead and do like cheesy bean wraps or add barbecue sauce in, that's really nice. Um, but yeah, there is absolutely nothing wrong with those simple, quick and easy meals. And often on nights when me and Alistair are working, that's the kind of thing that we reach for because we just can't be bothered to cook. So, there's my meal plan on a scruffy piece of paper. I've got my shopping list of essentials. I'm hoping that I don't get got by the special buyers again. But we'll see. Wish me luck. Okay, and this is all of my shopping. Well, all except for one thing that, like, those damn special buys. But here we go. I got bananas, a mango, some pears, wonky strawberries, romaine lettuce, some peppers, red onions, apples, courgettes. What else did I get? Salad tomatoes, wonky blueberries, a cucumber, some basil, the guinea pigs love that. Um, some tortilla chips, some brioche rolls. I got some sausages. I thought, do you know what? They're not that expensive. I think they're $1.99. So let's just get a packet of sausages and do sausage casserole. I got some of these Haribo sticks. They're for me. Um, I'm going to hide them before the kids get home from school. I got just an ordinary loaf of medium sliced bread. And then I got some bake at home white baguettes. Um, I thought these would be nice with soup one night. Penne pasta milk chocolate chips i'm going to make some snacks and things for the kids um like some healthy options and then i got some baby spinach i saw these and they had them last year and i absolutely loved them so i had to get them these are rhubarb and custard hot cross buns so tasty like so so tasty and then i got some almat bio liquid sachets um yep yeah, pretty standard I got some blackcurrant cordial and some chocolate hoops. Oh, and I also got loo roll, but um, we all know what loo roll looks like. Wait a sec. Loo roll. Yeah. And then this is where the special buy screwed me over this week. I got a printed indoor washable runner. Um, our hallway just looks pretty, um, there's just not a lot going on in it. I'd show you, but it's probably full of shoes and stuff. So um, yeah, I thought this might be nice. It was like eight pounds or something i don't know so without the mat i spent 24 pounds and 7p or something like that and then with this it was like um 32 okay so it's a bit small it looks ridiculous um would have been better like twice the length i don't know what i was thinking i just saw it and grabbed it what do you think i mean it's a bit late now what do I do? Um, does that look ridiculous? I know my floor needs vacuuming, but um, yeah, it's it's a bit small. It needs to flatten out. But I don't know. Thoughts, please. Um, yeah, that that may not have been a win. Maybe I don't know. I'm gonna leave it there and see how I feel. And that's it. That is how I shop the week before payday when I try and use up as much as I can in my fridge and freezer. Um, things weren't quite as tight this month so I did still spend quite a bit considering it was like a use what's in your cupboards week. But um, yeah, that's what we did. 
good <laughs> so I know people like find these videos some people find them really useful some people find them less interesting because you prefer to just see what's in the shops um, and obviously you can't all come and shop in my cupboards so it's not as useful when you're looking for inspiration to do your own food shops but I just think it's really helped to save us a lot of money and I, I definitely think it helps reduce our food waste so I highly recommend shopping in your cupboards first before you go to the shops as often as you can like I say I try to do this like on a big scale once a month but then often during the week I will have a quick look in the freezer and the cupboard just to see what we've got before I do my meal plan to try and self, save myself some money but anyway have a lovely week whatever you are doing I'm assuming this video is going to end up being a little bit longer than normal purely because of the faffing about in the cupboards first but um i hope it was useful so thank you very much for watching give this video a like and comment if you want to see more of these types of videos and i will see you in my next one